Hello everyone, my name is Sharath and I'm here to talk about our work, Bridging the Gap, Providing Postdoc Symbolic Explanation for Sequential Decision Making Problems with Inscrutable Representation. So this is joint work with Utkar Soni, Udit Verma, and Subharav Kampapati. To start with, if we hope to build effective explainable systems, then these systems better be able to provide explanation in terms that people can understand. What I mean by that is in some sense, these systems need to be cognizant of the fact that even if the systems, that is the AI system itself, is reasoning about the task in high dimensional spaces, the humans don't. Human tend to think about problems in terms of objects, relationship between objects and other high level concepts. So if the system has to provide explanations that are meaningful to people, the explanation better be framed in terms of such propositional or relational symbols. While there are works in explaining single shot decision making that try to adopt this philosophy, the problem of addressing such vocabulary mismatch remains more or less an open challenge for explaining sequential decisions. This is particularly unfortunate given how hard it is to provide explanations for such problems even in the absence of such vocabulary mismatch. In this work, we hope to address this challenge by presenting a method to learn action-centric symbolic models that are sufficient to explain the given queries that the user might have about sequential decision-making problems. So these models are meant to be represented in terms that the user would understand, and we further simplify both the learning problem and the complexity of the learned model by learning only model components that are relevant to the current user query, and also by focusing on learning local approximations of the system's actual model. As we show in the paper, the use of such symbolic explanation provide a significant advantage over alternatives like saliency maps. So the overview of uh, the, the explanatory method used by our system is provided in this slide. So the system starts with a set of concepts it knows that the, the user can understand. So for each of these concepts, the system has access to a classifier it can use to detect when that concept may be present or absent in a given system state. So the actual explanatory interaction starts with the user raising a foil. That is an alternate plan that, were, that the system was expecting in the place of the plan the system is currently following. And an explanation here correspond to the system coming up with or identifying a model component that is sufficient to refute the file, that is sufficient to show why the current system's plan is better than the alternative the human had in mind. The actual algorithm that our system uses is illustrated in this slide. So the algorithm consists of the system starting with the hypothesis set over possible model components it could use for the explanation. Then the model, this hypothesis set is refined by leveraging various experiences that can be sampled from the system's true model or the simulator that the system was using. These sampled experiences are first converted into symbolic traces using the concept classifier, then, then used to update the hypothesis set. The process ends with either the system identifying an explanation um, which is sufficient to be provided to the user or realizing that the current vocabulary set is insufficient to provide a useful explanation to the user so that uh, the, the system can ask for more concepts from the user. In addition to uh, learning a model component, our system is also capable of identifying a confidence level with each learned explanation. Such confidence levels are especially useful in the context of post hoc explanation because it will help avoid the system to provide explanation that might be actually be misleading because it does not reflect the ground truth model. And um, by avoiding such um, um, uh, incorrect explanation, the system can avoid problems like this, the user over trusting the system or S or this is the user developing mental models it is not reflective of the system's true model. This brings us to the end of our small presentation. If you have any questions about the work or if you want to just discuss more about postdoc symbolic explanations, feel free to drop by our poster. Thank you.